I am a professor in the School of Computer Science at Georgia Institute of Technology. And uh, my research is really on the cutting edge. So I'm working in distributed systems, internet computing, and cloud computing, big data systems, and analytics. And uh, if you see the world right now, and there's a two really, really a disruptive technology in computing. One is cloud computing, where, where computing no longer becomes uh, every organization investment. Rather, computing becomes a, a services that uh, and the companies uh, offers the computing as a, as a service to larger companies, to larger organizations, to government, to universities. And then you can rent and the computers, you can rent the computing services as you need, like electricity. And on the other, uh, then destructive technology is big data. So data is growing a lot, and digital content is growing every day significantly. And uh, how people can dive into the big data, finding the interesting that inside, interesting deep knowledge that we cannot see from the surface of data becomes very, very important. And uh, and and also may actually fundamentally change how computing would be a, a educated, would be researched and how the science and technology will be a, a, a finding the new discoveries and what is the new innovation. So there are many things can happen with this, uh, this two type of uh, destructive technology. It's uh, actually being, and I find it really interesting in terms of uh, impact we can make because uh, right now everybody from little kids to uh, grandma, granddad, they all use uh, um, iPhones, or digital phones, smartphones, and iPad. So they are actually puzzled with how this, uh, this, this digital gadget can be so smart and can have captured so many things. And so what we do really is the fundamental technology and the advances of this type of digital technology that can impact everybody's life, can actually create a lot of uh, joyous and convenience and happiness, life-enriching experiences for everybody. So that's kind of very exciting. In terms of a tangible impact, in terms of research we do, and you can actually see it from a multiple aspect. One is from, a, from the, the life-enhancing experiences that everybody has through the digital content, digital access, digital devices, smart devices. And, uh, and that aspect, we are actually, the kind of research we do in terms of uh, um, how to make computing really fast, how to make the computing to be able to handle lots of data and with the real-time response. Those are actually related to everybody's life. And if you look for a video and you don't want to stop when, when you get into the elevator, when you are on the plane, when you change the locations or the rooms, you want to continuously streaming. So these are the things really related to how we fundamentally develop a computer systems that can have a real-time high performance. So these are actually the concrete impact we can see. And another aspect of the impact is really the computing research, how we can actually evolve the computing research into science, engineering, and discoveries, like a health care. Today, a lot of uh, surgeons are actually doing surgeries by using robots now, and by using computer software, computer hardware to guide the, the cameras looking into the, the, how the sur surgery is going to be conducted. So these are actually the advanced technology that can also impact our other aspect of the science and technology and impact of life indirectly. So most of the students that I have worked with have two types of classes. One is a PhD student, basically undergrad student finish the undergrad study and go on pursue their PhD research. And typically they spend about four or five years with Georgia Tech and with one advisor and they enhance their deeper knowledge into a particular area of computer science. And most of these type of students tend to become a three type of uh, a career leadership. One is they become professor like me, and then they're working in a, in a, in a high, high educational institutions across US. All some of them are basically going back to their own country, become professors. And, uh, and the second type of the students in the PhD ca category, they went to company to become a, a, a research leadership 
or software development leadership uh, positions. And those are typically people go to a Google, Facebook, IBM, HP, Intel, these kind of bigger computer industry players and become a major a, a contributor into those companies. Now, third category of uh, students go to startups. They build their own sort of startups, and some of them su very successful and made money, and also made a lot of impact to the to the society. Now, for the master student in our program, basically, I don't work them one by one, but uh, we basically have uh, classes. Master students taking a lot of classes. They basically finish in one year or two year. Most of our master students, they go to industry. And, uh, and basically, very small fraction, they continue doing PhDs and uh, in uh, different organizations of uh, US um, universities. But uh, majority of them go to large companies or small companies, also go to different sectors of uh, companies, not just computer science. There are recently a lot of people go to healthcare um, industry because they're massively hiring computer scientists. I am still a computer science professor, therefore, for speaking for transferring a undergrad study into a computer scientist um, as a researcher, either in master degree or PhD degree, what I see is that the hottest topic today related with big data would be like how to scale big data in a big computing systems, how to visualize the, the, the interesting a insight from the data mining and machine learning. That is basically a big area in visualization, information visualization. And there are also computer um, entertainment, like um, how to build a new computer entertainment systems and very uh, intellectually challenging games and very intellectually challenging movies. Those are also area grows a lot and attract a lot of uh, graduate students. And the industry is also growing a lot in that area. I think there's a two things I want to mention and as a closing remarks. One is uh, for all the undergrad students, and I see that there's a lot of opportunity in terms of both career growth and personal growth that, uh, I, that, that you should take the challenge to do another one or two years of uh, graduate study at least after your undergrad study, so to enhance yourself in terms of uh, a advanced cutting edge computing technology, information technology, at the same time, and, and, and you, ha you can have an opportunity to grow a lot more. And just by spending one more year and, uh, and spending time with the people who are in the same level of, as you and at a graduate level, so you will actually, the, even the one year, two year gave you a lot more growth potential. And the second thing I want to mention is for the women. So computing has been, a male-dominated area, that the number of women that are continuous and to graduate study even smaller than undergrad. So I still want to encourage a lot of girls who actually finish undergrad and go on continue to give yourself another one year or two year at least investment in graduate study. And you probably would see a lot more a intellectual capacity that you could actually have and matching with the males of uh, the same age. And then you may also open the uh, eyes to things that you may not know, and if you're not um, getting into the graduate uh, study. I really think that, uh, that undergrad students who go to top school like Georgia Tech, and the number of uh, students who can do great graduate study is huge. But the number of students we see that are coming from our undergrad program to move on to graduate program is so small. So that's really a, something that I would like to encourage more students who study very well or who would like to a, take the opportunity to grow more in, in the computer science area or specific area in the computer science to take the opportunity and to take the challenge and to give yourself a trade to, to do a graduate study. Mm -hmm.